The GBC Sports Awards' aim is to celebrate remarkable sporting achievements on the rock and to honour those who have really gone that extra mile. 2013 was a busy year for Gibraltar. 24 teams and athletes were selected for nomination, with thousands of people voting for their favourites. Presented by GBC's Paul Grant and Jonathan Scott, Bruno's restaurant was full to the brim of spectators, including the Governor Benjamin Dutton, the Chief Minister, MPs and members of Gibraltar's sporting community. I have something uh, of an understanding of just how much work is required by an athlete to get to this level. Um, and so uh, I must add my congratulations uh, to all those we've heard this evening. What an inspiration it is to see what we've seen on our screens. What village, town or city of 30,000 people could achieve what this small nation of ours achieves in sport. Colin Bensadon took the prize for senior individual for his achievements in swimming. He brought home a silver and bronze medal from the Island Games in Bermuda last year. I think I can speak for all of the swimmers. We, we focus on ourselves. We, we just target national records, personal bests. And then the, the rest, you know, it's, it's, sometimes it happens for you, sometimes it doesn't. So you the minister with the responsibility for sport, Stephen Linares, was also present. It's an honour for me to be the minister for sports. As a sportsman myself, I'm so proud to see so many young people and the participation level that we have in Gibraltar. He presented the Junior Sports Personality Award that went to 14-year-old chess player Stephen Watley, who competed in the British Chess Championship and won the under-14 section in the Gibraltar Junior Chess Festival. Amazing. I mean, I really didn't expect this. I've been in this competition for four years and it's such an honour every time to be shortlisted. The Gibraltar triathlon team took the prize for senior team. They won gold in Bermuda at last year's Island Games. We all put in endless hours in the pool, even more hours cycling, and as much as we could uh, running as well. So um, it was really hard trying to compete on all three sports and then trying to get it all together under, under the triathlon umbrella. And the junior team award was given to rowers Colin Tester and Jesse Borge. They won gold at the British Championships. Um, just knowing that all of those hours that we sacrificed training, giving up our summer, has paid off and this sums it all up. And of course, it was an extremely important year for the Gibraltar Football Association. Their Team 54 campaign reached over 100 million people. And after years of perseverance, the GFA was accepted into UEFA. They received recognition last night for their efforts and achievements with a special presentation showcasing their highlights in 2013. As you know, we lobbied the, the, the whole of Europe to uh, um, um, get their votes. Uh, we did that and now it's positive football work and we're all very excited where we are and looking forward to our next internationals. Still on a high with the Slovakia result and uh, it's all systems go. And a special award went to Special Olympics Gibraltar. The organization's oath is let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. It's a movement that allows local Special Olympics athletes to travel the world, compete, build character and have fun. Very happy and we are glad we appreciate got for this trophy. It's going to be very good for them. It changes my life forever, me in the Special Olympics. I love it. And last but certainly not least, Ernest Victory took the Lifetime Achievement Award for his accomplishments in boxing. He started boxing in 1952 and is now the head coach in Gibraltar's Amateur Boxing Association. A tribute was put together by his family and his fighters and the surprise clearly moved the former professional boxer. Well, that's been all my life and, you know, you get really excited when you see things like that. Uh, what can I say? I would go through it again if I was born again, you know? So apart from a few technical hiccups at the beginning of the night, the show is a success, with £1,500 raised for the GBC Open Day from the 24 premium phone numbers provided by Jib Telecom. And with 2013's awards done and dusted, we've got an action-packed 2014 to look forward to.